Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to square a binomial. For example, if you have x minus y quantity square, what does that mean? Well, this actually means x minus y times x minus y. Okay, It's the same as y squared, what does that mean? That means y times y. Okay, A squared, what that means is a times a. Therefore, if you have x minus y quantity squared, or quantity x minus y squared, that means x minus y times x minus y. So let's find out what the uh, square of a binomial is. So to square a binomial, you square the first term. So this is x squared. And then you multiply the first and the last term, okay? And then whatever product you get after multiplying those two terms, you multiply the product by 2. So that means 2 times the product of x and negative y. Why negative y? Because this is minus. Okay? So it's going to be x times negative y is negative xy. And then times that by 2, then you have negative 2xy. And then you square your last term. So you'll take the minus sign as part of the y, so it becomes negative y, and then you square that, then that's going to be positive y squared. So this becomes the formula if it's a minus. And what happens if it's a plus? Let's say you have x plus y squared. Let's see what's the difference. Now know that this is the same as x plus y times x plus y okay so you square the first term you multiply the two terms and whatever product you get you multiply that by two so x times y is xy okay because they're both positive multiply that answer by two then you have positive two xy and then you square the last term so positive y squared is plus y squared. Okay, now, is this true? If x minus y squared is the same as x minus y times x minus y, and this is binomial times binomial, that should mean that if I apply FOIL method, I should get the same answer if indeed, indeed this is true. Let's see. So x times x, that's x squared. x times negative y, that's negative xy. Negative y times x, that's negative xy. Negative y times negative y, that is positive y squared. Combining like terms, I will have x squared minus 2xy plus y squared because negative xy combined with negative xy will give you negative 2xy. Therefore, this is correct. So you can use this as a formula for squaring a binomial if the operation between the two terms in the binomial is subtraction. Now let's double check this. x times x, that is x squared. x times y, that is positive xy. y times x, that's again positive xy. And y times y, that is y squared. Combining these two like terms, then you'll have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. So that means this is correct. So you can use this as a formula in um, finding the, uh, the square of binomial if the operation between the two terms in the binomial is a plus. Let's have some examples, or let's have one example. Let's say you have 6w minus 3 squared, or quantity 6w minus 3 squared. And we're supposed to, of course, find, you know, the, what is the square of 6w minus 3. Now, earlier we said that if you have x minus y, squared, that is the square of the first term, that is minus twice the product of the first and the last term, so 2 times xy, okay, or 2xy, okay, plus the square of the last term, okay, because when you're squaring negative or positive, the result will always be positive, that's why the last term is always a plus. So now let's apply that formula. So we're going to square the first term, so that's 6w, we're going to square that. We're going to subtract, because this is a minus, 
twice the product of first and the last term. So two times, twice the product means two times the product of the first and the last term. So 6w and then 3. And then we're going to add the square of the last term, which is, well, 3 squared is going to be 9. So let me erase this portion. So we have, well, 6w squared, that's going to be the square of 6 and the square of w, so that's going to be 36 w squared. If I multiply all these three, then that means I have negative times positive is negative times positive is negative again. 2 times 6 is 12. 12 times 3 is 36. So I have 36 w plus 3 squared is 9. So this is the final answer. If you would like to know whether your final answer is correct, you can always check using the FOIL method by doing 6 w minus 3 times 6w minus 3. But I'm telling you right now, this is correct even if you use FOIL method. So thank you very much everyone for watching.